Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to back up your iPad to an external hard drive or SSD. So you will need access to a Windows computer for this tutorial. If you have a Mac, if it's an M1 Mac, you will need to use Parallels Desktop in order to get Windows on your M1. If it's an Intel Mac, you're going to need to set up Boot Camp. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. To search up how to set up Parallels or how to set up Boot Camp, then come back to this video once you're done. Now once you're done, what you need to do is you need to download two applications. So open up the browser of your choice. The first one will be iTunes. I will leave the link in the description. You're going to scroll down. You're going to click on looking for other versions of Windows and make sure you download this version right here for uh, Windows now 64 bit. Once you've done this, you also want to download iBackupBot. So don't hover over this download here. Instead, you want to scroll down until you see here. Click here to download now. Download iBackupBot. Make sure you set this one up. Also, make sure you set up iTunes. Once you've done this, you just want to plug in your external hard drive or SSD to your computer. And you also want to plug in your iPad to the computer. So you can see, I'm just going to do that right now. And once you're plugged in, if there's any trust pop-ups which uh, show up here, you want to tap on trust and enter in the passcode if prompted. The next step is we're going to open up the iBackup bot application. Just, just give it a little bit and you may be uh, receiving some error codes while you load up this application. If you receive any errors, just tap on no, or click on no or click on OK until you're brought to a page like this. And so what we're going to do is we need to create a brand, a brand new backup. So we're going to click on our iPad right here and you can choose whether or not to have encryption off or on by just clicking on this. If you want it on, click encryption off, enter in the passcode and then encryption will be turned on. So we're going to click on backup now and then we're going to click on backup to another folder. So I'm going to zoom in here. Back up to another folder, browse, and you just want to select your external SSD, this one right here, and we're going to right click, new folder, and then we'll just name it whatever we want. I'm just going to name it iPad back, enter, double click on this one, then click on select folder, and then click on OK. Now the backup is going to start, just give it a little bit and wait for this to finish. I don't want to do this, however, uh, once you have created a backup, if you want to restore it in the future, you just want to click on here, open the backup, and then you want to go to your external hard drive or SSD, click on iPad back, there'll be another folder which contains your backup, click on that one, then click on select folder, and it will load up your backup. Once the backup's loaded, you just want to click on it, and then click on this icon right here, which says restore backup, and then that backup will restore onto your iPad if you ever need to restore the backup in the future. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.